is what you need to do to actually get the mould to release from your two part mould. Uh, cat plastic, um, of the one you've got in your kit I believe is this one here, which is the acetone base. Let's quickly recap that. So check first um, what base it is. Can anyone remember quickly what it is we use to dilute this down and dissolve the edge? Is acetone. Yeah, perfect. So whatever this is, that's the solvent you'll use to dissolve it. This one here is the IPA one. Uh, now it doesn't say IPA on there, but if you do check the size here, it does say uh, with IPA in small, if you ever are confused as to which one you're using. Um, so they're the PS composite ones. And then you've also got the Super Baldies. Again, it doesn't say the base on it, but if you look at the size, it does say um, you can dissolve it with IPA. And this is by Mold Life. So it's just another brand that you can actually use and have a go with. Uh, but you'll be making all your pieces with the acetone base one for this project. Uh, but if you're moving on to um, next year, you can have a go with this one because you get this in any kit. So you can actually buy this one already thinned as well, uh, which means you don't need to bother then mixing it up and thinning it down. Um, so that's another bonus to that one. You don't actually do an acetone one which is thinned yet for some reason, but I do with the idea, so that's fine. Uh, next you'll need an airbrush and your air compressor. So when you do all start getting to the stage um, next week, um, or if you're doing it today, if you want to film one today, you can use ours for today, but make sure you bring yours with you. Um, and we're going to ask you to sort of do this airbrushing stage in the back in the um, airbrush room. Just for ventilation and things like that. If it starts to get too busy in there, then we'll just bring out the fans and you can do it in here as well. I'm sure when it gets up to deadline, everyone will be coming in and filming pieces, so we'll have to do that. And then you can measure the scales, uh, mixing balls, cups, spatulas, and your pro gel silicone A, B, and C. So, can any of you remember other names that are interested that they call C other than C? Softener. Softener? Anything else? Is a D. Can you remember? No? Deadener. So sometimes I call it deadener. Don't ask me why they call it deadener, because there isn't actually a scientific reason for it. I just call it deadener just to confuse us all. So if you're ever in the industry and they do say, oh, can you just deaden my piece for it? That's what they mean. It tends to be more of an American phrase, to be honest, uh, rather than England, but you never know. Um, and then obviously you need flocking, pigment, and you'll also need clamps. So I'm going to show you these as well today. So you've got your G-clamps. Have any of you used these before? Might not have been makeup related, but what have you used them for before? I built a lot of stuff with wood when I was young. Oh, did you? Yeah. Interesting, yeah. Interesting. What about you? Have you used them like Yeah. Nice and hard, yeah. So it might bring back some time there for a few of you. But yeah, it's basically called a G-clamp because of the shape of it, so it's a G. And this is what you'll use to actually...